This is an informational video which introduces the Health Alert Network, a secure, web-based information sharing and notification system. This video is part of a series which overviews the secure Oregon Health Alert Network systems. Your agency or facility may use one or more components of the Health Alert Network, or HAN. This may include HOSCAP or EM track. HAN is part of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention National Health Advisory and Alert Network. It is funded by the CDC and implemented by the Oregon Public Health Division. Implementation of HAN is a CDC funding requirement for many participating agencies. The objective of this video is to introduce the core operational concepts of HAN for partners, including, but not limited to, local health departments, hospitals, tribes, clinics, state and federal partners. Use of HAN is dependent on a user's job function. Nationally, HAN provides vital health information and infrastructure, including timely alerts and advisories. HAN is also used to push local health information through county public health authorities. HAN members include all local health departments, tribes, hospitals, labs, state agencies, and NGOs. The system facilitates a rich connection of health experts and professionals, including public safety. The public health system and the health care delivery system are responsible to citizens of Oregon to respond to any and all hazard events. The three major functions of HAN include 1. Health alerting, advisories, and updates covering a wide range of public health issues. 2. Secure collaboration across multiple public health and medical service disciplines. 3. Information sharing during a public health emergency, including support and coordination of the State Public Health and Medical Emergency Operations Center. The alerting system in HAN allows alert senders to target specific health disciplines with urgent messages. The system tracks real-time confirmation using an acknowledgement process. To be CDC compliant, the HAN offers the option for alert senders to request confirmations. HAN links partners via a secure network which can be used for routine business and emergencies. This can include small outbreak investigations or large-scale events. Although HAN is a system the CDC uses to push national health information, it is often used to coordinate local and state-related health information. Examples include environmental health, foodborne illnesses, communicable disease advisories, and other notifications. Your agency is also granted access to send notifications and alerts to local users. HAN takes an all-hazards approach to public health. In an emergent health situation, HAN ensures notifications reach affected partners. Notifications vary based on severity, from high-level alerts to information-only FYIs. Some alerts require no action and are informative in nature. There are three categories of notifications, alert, advisory, and update. Notifications reach the individual user based upon contact methods that have been pre-selected and entered into their HAN alerting profile. Optional methods of contact include the secure HAN website, email, phone, fax, text messages, Blackberries, iPhones, and other cell devices. This is the Oregon Health Alert Network. Users can also access hand notifications via a toll-free call-in feature when internet is not available. Users are only contacted via the methods they have established in their alerting profiles. Since notifications may occur 24-7, users control how they are contacted during their business hours or after hours using a scheduling feature. HAN user management and contact relies on a federated or decentralized method of administration. Your agency has one or more local HAN administrators. The key functions of a local agency HAN administrator include 1. Maintaining local user base, process accounts, delete accounts, and move accounts. 2. Staying informed on the latest system enhancements. 3. Maintaining local content in the information sharing library. And 4. Conducting drills and exercises. Local HAN administrators ensure a robust and up-to-date user base and offer subject matter expertise to other users. This includes a directory of colleagues, a secure document library, and full access in offer to locally leverage the system's alerting capabilities. Intermediate level users, known as collaborator level users, must attend additional training to ensure site content is maintained. The remainder of this video will demonstrate the use of HANS collaboration tools and alert notification. The following example is fictional. Due to an emerging threat to public health, the State Health and Medical Operations Center must establish an emergency teleconference call at 1500 hours. 
The decision to send an alert is authorized following strict SOP guidance. The target audience for this alert includes all local public health administration, tribal health administration, hospital emergency department managers, and infection control. Individual users are responsible for completion of system training, which is available online. Required training will depend upon the level of access granted to a particular user. Agencies that are tasked with responding to an all-hazard situation require an instantaneous ability to communicate. HAND provides a comprehensive communication solution. Disparate agencies require the ability to share health-related data and fact sheets in an emergency. The collaborative tools provide this secure platform. This informational video was made possible with funding from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. It was produced in partnership with Oregon Health and Sciences University, Dornbecker Children's Hospital, Tuolity Healthcare, AMR, Metro West Ambulance, Airlink, City of Portland Bureau of Emergency Communications, Legacy Health System, St. Charles Health Systems, Multnomah County EMS, and Life Flight. Use of HAN and HOSCAP or its supported systems without authority or in excess of authority is subject to prosecution. Unauthorized access is strictly prohibited. This video was produced for the Oregon Health Authority and the Oregon Department of Human Services by T. Scott Media.